we are out and about again. I'm out with Mr Compton in North Wales uh, and we've come to the location where I was on the last video that you're going to be watching even though it was about three or four weeks ago now. Um, I'll put the name of the lake up here because I'm no way I'm going to try and pronounce it. But we've come all, about an hour's walk round the footpath which is quite an easy footpath to be honest. Um, it's only because I'm super unfit <laughs> when I'm all sweaty and horrible but and we've come to another lake now then. Um, we was hoping to get some sunset images. We will try, but we are going to struggle. We are definitely going to struggle because um, we've still got a couple hours before sunset and it's going to drop behind that mountain in the next 10 minutes. So, uh, But apparently in this lake, and I think this is the one where there's, um, there was a plane crashed in the war or around that period. And when it's low, we can see the propeller sticking up and part of the, the tail. Um, certainly can't see it at the moment, but we're going to have a look, another a little look round and see if we can find it. Uh, well, isn't that interesting? But what a place! What a absolutely stunning place! Be fantastic for a wall camp. Absolutely fantastic. There is a boffy down here as well, and uh, if we got some energy, maybe we'll walk that way and try and find it. Um, I think certainly if we have a bit of a break we certainly could head that way and we can go actually that way back which would be interesting but some some interesting rock formations and things like that and then we're looking down the valley down that way obviously blue sky day so it's not perfect but it's a scouting mission and we'll always try and get an image and Paul always seems to get a cracker no matter what so I'm sure he'll get one let's go and explore this lake a little bit see if we can find anything of any interest there is, like I say, some rocks up the top here, which might be interesting. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> it's a serious pile that isn't it <laughs> okay we've come a right round Followed the path down, it's quite a steep one bit, but it's, it's not a problem. We've come down to the other lake and look what we found. We found the prop. <laughs> we were looking at the wrong lake. Um, this is nice, this is a nice lake, quite interesting. Lovely little island here with a little tree on. If it had some, um, some leaves on, that would be really interesting. Uh, and I'm going to try and get a couple of photos, but yeah, here's the air, airplane prop. Be nice to find out the history of it. Um, Obviously World War II, I assume, anyway. Um, and when the water gets lower, I think the, we can see the, the fin of the plane there, um, which would be really interesting. Uh, but yeah, what a, what a super place. We've got a, a man-made waterfall over there, which I've done some B-roll of. Um, again, might be an image there, uh, but I'm definitely gonna get my camera out. We've got a nice little, interesting little hut here with a nice green door on it. The only thing that spoils it, it's got a solar panel on the roof. And when I say spoil it, spoil it as an image. <laughs> uh, but it's still quite interesting. And I think if we'd have actually come here first, when the light would just say, clipping the top of this, this ridge here, it could have made for a real nice image to be honest. But 
least we know that for the future and that's what the, this, these wreckers are all about so okay i think i think i'm going to get my camera out and see if we can find some sort of image what an interesting place this is so i've, I've took one or two images nothing really just recording the the day nothing more than than that um try to just take a photo of the this this prop that's sticking out of the water like i say just just to record it um but i think on the right day and maybe more early morning when the sun does come from this side or mid-morning when we start to get a bit of light down here because we are obviously quite well in this in this within this bowl if you like um where the lake's sitting it, it obviously doesn't get loads of light certainly not now as the sun's setting because the sun's setting behind the, the ridge there um but really interesting place really really interesting i'm sure there's some photography to be had in the right conditions um we've got some wild campers just up here um just been chatting to them their first time camping uh so they'll, they'll be having a good night tonight it's going to be a nice warmish night tonight i think might be a bit a little bit chilly <laughs> by early morning but it's going to be beautiful clear skies i think uh so yeah definitely worth coming over i think i'm just gonna poke my head over the other side of this um this building here i think it's some sort of pump house i don't know you can see that there i think it's some sort of pump house something like that like i say the only thing that sort of spoils it is the uh is the where is it <laughs> is the solar panel um but i suppose that could be edited out and, and these tun bags here these waste bags that have been, I assume, helicoptered in nowadays. Um, so, yeah. Um, very, very, very interesting. I think Paul's going to fly his drone and see if we can see any more of the plane from above, which um, is a cracking idea. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go go walk up here, see if we can see anything else, and then uh, try and get another couple of images like I say, just recording the the day really, uh, and then we're going to head down, start heading back. Probably come across that buffy, try and get an image of that maybe. Um, and um, there's a nice crop of trees beyond, which might might be worth taking an image of, but we'll see. But really, it's it's a nice recce, and a, it's a super super place. New location. Okay, let me go down there and have a look. This is my first buffy I've ever been in. 
<laughs> I think it's a bit of a pattern as well. It's actually meds. Okay, we're on, we're on his way back. Uh, been in the buffet. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to stop there one night, get, get a gang of us and stop there. Uh, we'll just come across this lovely crop of trees. Not taking any job, it, but... Why are they there? It's in the middle of nowhere, just a, a dozen or so trees. Crazy, they're very interesting. And then for some reason, as Paul's showing, there's a ladder but one of them. Oh, oh, we've made it back. We're back at the van. <laughs> oh, that was an hard one. That was a hard one. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, photography wise, nothing. But adventure-wise, 10 out of 10. Uh, great location, great location. Um, yeah, it's one of them days where photography is not the primary, primary objective. It's about scouting. But we're ready for a cup of tea and then we're gonna have a beer. Have something to eat and we're gonna have a beer. Tempting to do a pan out. We've got wild ponies. We've got wild ponies. Uh, we've been seeing all the pony poop <laughs> everywhere and the the footprints. Uh, so we know they're here, and uh, but we've found them. So whether we can get an image of them is another thing, but I might just get the long lens on the camera and uh, at least video them. I wouldn't mind trying to photograph them but they're down in the valley here. <laughs> um, now, I don't, I don't think we're gonna get down to get at them, but they're fantastic to see. Uh, oh, so let's get down here. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. So yeah, let me, uh, 
I might just get the long lens out and just try and video them. Let's see. We would get down there, wouldn't we? I'm tempted to get down and try it. Yeah, to get down here. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna try and get down. I know it's not what I've come for, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's try and photograph them. If I can get down off this bit of a wall. Oh, these knees. <laughs> Easier said than done. Right, down. Yeah, what we're trying to do is, is a bit of a ruined footprint of a building here. So we're going to basically sneak up behind them. Yeah, we've got two of them looking at us now. <laughs> so, let's see if, as long as we don't. I think they're half happy. Just going to take it slow. Walk directly straight towards them, then it doesn't look as if I'm moving that much. Oh no. I think they're quite happy because one's put his head back down. They're all over here now, they're all staring. I'm going to get behind this wall here and get the camera out. Need them to look. <laughs> Ooh. Right, I've just been down really close to the ponies. Um, and I think I've got some real nice shots, so I'll put the long lens back on. Um, we're gonna get try and get closer, and the sun's starting to, to uh, appear from behind them, so hopefully we can get them slightly backlit. Might not work, but with this light, it could actually make the, the image loads better. Pulls down there now, we're just, just creeping in the grass. They don't seem to be, uh, bothered about us too much at all to be honest uh, so let's try and get a couple of nice images of these ponies I'm loving this. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that. I'll put the images up now.
We've been walking now for three hours, it's killing me. <laughs> it's a nightmare. But what a superb walk, what a place. We've been told there's a lake just up here. And apparently it's the ice lake in Wales. Uh, so we've, we said we've got to come and have a look. Uh, but we've come into a sort of a, a quarry area. Uh, <laughs> I'm absolutely shattered as you can probably see, sweating like a pig. Uh, let's go a little walk up here and see, see what it is. But, I'm going to have to have half an hour's rest. Now we've come across another boffy as well. Um, it looks really well kept. We didn't go in, there's two guys in there. But we, I might have to visit it on the way back and have a rest. <laughs> uh, but God, oh, what, a, what a super, super location. Great for a wild camping area. Great for photography. Great for an hike. Uh, I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. Even over the, as you can see, the lights are very harsh. Uh, uh, but who cares? We'll still get some images. Oh. Oh. The lake's definitely further around. It can't be a very big one either. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. The knee's about ready to give in. <laughs> It could be nice, nice single tree here. And then we've got the, obviously the water that's running from the lake down. So there'll be not some nice cascade. I'm not really uh, going to bother with that sort of thing, but still would be interesting. Yeah, definitely quarry area here. Oh, we cut off there, something happened, doesn't what happened there. But this, we've got the backside of Penny Oldwin there. Uh, so, and it looks nothing like it from the other side. And then this, this mountain range here is, is going down the main road towards Anglesey, um, obviously the other side. Uh, so it's, a, it's an area that's not, I suppose, so well photographed, certainly. And I'm not, I'm not seeing any sort of videos or photos from up this end. I'm sure there is, but there's certainly not many. And this is why we're coming here really to scout it out, but I'm definitely coming back here again. Let me just put you down a minute. Oh, yeah, definitely coming back here again. I'm absolutely loving it. I just wish the lake was a bit closer, but it's, it's gonna be right up in the corner there. Definitely. <laughs> We gotta go and have a look now. We gotta, we gotta make it. Here we are. Let's have a drink of water. I thought it was only coming out for ten minutes. No. <laughs> oh. Okay. Drank the, drank the tea, and I've. Uh, harvested some water from a, a waterfall and it tastes absolutely superb. Oh, do I need that water? Wow. We've seen two people this morning and they've been the boffy. Been walking since six o'clock, it's now 10 past nine. What's he doing to me? <laughs> right, let's crack on.
Right, we're on his way back. We're going to make his way back. We're not going to find the lake. Add the drone up. <laughs> we can't see it. So we think it's actually the lake we went to yesterday. Not 100% sure, but we can't, certainly can't see it here. Uh, so we're going to head back. And I think that's the adventure for today. Uh, I'm absolutely beat. He's absolutely killed me. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Um, so yeah, we're going to head back. We've got a couple hours walk back. What a super, super, super location. And I, I would have thought on a more moodier day, which I think today is an unusual day in Wales. <laughs> Blue skies. Um, it would be a super, super place. I'm definitely going to come back here again. And I'm definitely going to walk camp here at some point around this area. Right, I'm off. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please give us a thumbs up. And I'll catch you later.